You cannot keep doing it all. At some point, some things need to end in order for you to move forward and move forward well. I'm going to give you a methodology that one leader used in his organization so they can move forward. Welcome to Great Transition Strategies Monday Morning Stand-Up. Five minutes to get your week off to a great start and potentially give you something to help make you a more effective leader so you can love what you do. We have projects, we have things going on in organizations. At some point, there are some things that have to end and go away. We can't keep doing everything. Some of those things are holding us back. Here's one leader, got promoted. When he got promoted, he had the mandate. You have to streamline this organization. We have to get more production out of, the, out of this group. You have too many things going on. His thought was, how am I gonna do that? How am I gonna do that? This is his methodology. He brought together at this time of year, the end of March, beginning of April, he would always bring his team together, leaders of about five or six folks, and they would take a look at all their projects and they would do these three things. They would look at these three areas. Number one, what needs to end? He would call cutting off the dead branches. Number two, what's on the fence? How, how are we gonna make decisions on those? And then number three, what is allowing us to thrive and really make a difference here? And how do we allocate our resources? So as I go through this, think about your organization, the organization, your team that you're leading, and how could you possibly apply this to your team so you can get the benefits of it and you can move forward and get rid of some of the things you no longer need. All right, first, let's get rid of what we don't need. They had all their projects listed. Everyone would have an opportunity to kind of evaluate on their own before they showed up at the, at the offsite. They showed up, they had their list. What needs to go away? This was a technology organization. They had hardware, software, policy, processes. They had to make decisions on this needs to go away. These are the reasons. In some cases, they had some legacy software out there that only a few people in the organization were using. We're going to cut that. That needs to go. We need to, this policy needs to change and be done. There's some hardware that's out there that's not being used. Let's get rid of those things because it's still on the, on the books. They went through that process, particularly the first time, and made some huge gains, got rid of that. So it went away, allowed them to move forward. One thing they incorporated was to think about what were the lessons learned. So they captured the lessons learned of whatever system they were getting rid of. So that's the first one. What needs to go? Cut the dead branch off so we no longer have to deal with that and no longer uses valuable resources. Number two, this was the toughest part. What needs to stay? What are the hard decisions that we need to make? Because things, maybe they're not going that great for this area, but you need to make some decisions because you put some money, people, resources against it. <clears throat> Here, what they came up with is they would make a decision. Once they made a decision, this, this one needs to go. It's below the line. That needs to move into cut the branch off. It goes away. If they kept it, they would build criteria around it. Here's the threshold of performance. Here's the threshold of headcount, budget, whatever they needed time to make sure they had something to measure by the next time they came to this meeting. So that was one way to take a look at what's in the middle, middle group. Last one, what are we thriving? What are things that are allowing this organization to thrive? What is really working and getting ROI here for us? Focus on those projects and they would reallocate. Do we need to reallocate budget? because this one is doing much better than we thought and we can get a lot more bang for our buck. Do we need to move headcount around? This meeting was not about cutting people, getting rid of people losing their jobs. This was about ensuring the organization was focused on the right areas so they can move forward and really make a difference. <clears throat> it worked, it worked for him. And it was one of those things that the organization grew to really embrace and it really helped the organization move forward. So how could you incorporate this into your organization to help you move forward? And as we wrap up, think about what about yourself personally in your professional life? Are there things that need to end that are holding you back? What do you need to get rid of so it no longer hold, holds you back? Are there some things in the middle? Uh, let's give this a test. How long do I keep this? And what are the areas where you're really thriving that are really making a difference for you? Think about those so that way you could give, give yourself the ROI that you want. Hope you found that helpful. See you next Monday morning, 8.30. Have a great week.